Hi everybody. Today I want to share with you one of my absolute favorite apps for conducting research, and this is called Browsing. This is something I have access to um, here at the university. Um, other universities probably have it as well. Just check with your library to see if that's the case. Uh, but this is this book with the little tree looking icon coming out of it right here. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and search for this, right? So you have to find your school. So we're here at Shenandoah University. This is going to ask you to log in with your credentials. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so boom. What this app does is connect to the university library system and it allows you to peruse all of the journals that we have access to so that you can try and find research articles um, really, really quickly. So, you know, for example, if you are in, let's say, the history department, right, and you are interested in history, um, this is going to show you all of the, the journals that pertain to history that we have access to here at the university, okay? And what this allows you to do is to very, very quickly um, see all of the journals, but then open up the journals and peruse the articles. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this history of science. And if you notice here, we've got, you know, volumes over here on the, the left-hand side and on the right are the articles within that volume. You'll also notice that we've got this lock icon. A lot of journals are, um, you know, have restrictions on when new articles can be viewed. Uh, so for example, this one actually goes back pretty far. Most aren't this far back. Um, but if you see that lock, you can still view the titles. You just may not be able to access the actual PDF. You may need to work with your librarian to try and access the actual PDFs. But for things that don't have the lock icon, you should be able to find and access these very, very easily. So I use this when I'm looking at it for a particular topic. Um, it's real simple to just kind of click through the volumes and look at the titles of the different um, articles that are in there. And if there's one that's on the topic that I'm looking at, um, I can really, really um, quickly click on that particular title. It's going to try and find the research article. When it does, it's going to find the full text and load the PDF right here in um, the, the browsing app. From here, you know, I can read the abstract or the introduction, see if this is something that I'm interested in. If it's not, I can go back, look at some other ones. If it is, then from here, I can then quickly send it to my other uh, research tools. So if I click on the share sheet in the upper right-hand corner, you can see I've got options to email it, to open the PDF, right, if I immediately wanted to say start marking it up in the notes app, or I can send it to my um, bibliography tools like Zotero, Mendeley, or EndNote. Um, this is a really great way to kind of manage your uh, journal articles, right? So send it to Mendeley, um, and then you can kind of, you know, work on it from there with, you know, being able to cite it and source it and those kinds of things. So I really like this tool as just a quick way to preview and to look at um, all of the different journals that I'm interested in. So, you know, for example, as you can see here, history and memory, if this is something I'm really interested in, the upper right hand corner over here, I have the option to add this to my bookcase. Okay, so this gives you quick and easy access to um, all of the journals that you're interested in. So once you get this set up, and I'll go back to the home page here, down here at the bottom left, I have my bookshelf. This is going to show you all of the journals that you have saved. So, you know, I'm interested in technology and higher education. So I have all of the journals that are on those particular topics right here, quick and easy access. And so what I do is I come in, I say, oh, there's some new computers and education articles. I'm gonna come in here and look and see if there's anything that's interesting to me. Um, if there is, I click on it. I wait for the article to load up. Now that I see, oh, this is really something that I, I, I think I could use in this research I'm doing, I come over, I click on Mendeley, it sends it out, and I've got it saved. So this is just a really useful tool for um, 
just managing journals for finding research articles and uh, conducting research. So I encourage you to give it a try. Um, you know, while you're sitting on the couch, this is a real quick way to kind of stay on top of the topics in your particular area. So anyways, I hope you give it a try. If you have any questions, uh, hit me up in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Awesome. Have a great day.